Chris Crane Film, in conjunction with O'Brien Enterprises and Schaefer Productions. Chris Crane proudly presents The Monster is in the House. The New England town. A town not unlike those towns that you and I live in. The tranquility, the bliss. But today, the bliss will not be the same. Today, the bliss will be shattered by an appearance in the sky. An appearance in the sky of something totally unusual. An appearance. The alien spaceship had arrived. And it was not a friendly craft. It brought with it the monsters from another planet. Monsters to this tranquil town. Monsters seeking only to rape to pillage, to die. <laughs> oh, Chris! We were just talking yesterday about, like, adventure and excitement. Yeah. Wouldn't you know there's a guy who just sailed around the world? <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> Don't you wish we had something better to do than sit around on Saturday night and spin a, spin a globe? And dream of adventure. You hear that? Hey, wait. I think I hear something. Music for what? <laughs> it must be the alien. They just sent some alien with spoons. Finally. We went looking for the monster. We knew he was around, but we would be too late. Honey, is that you? Honey? That thing that happened to Emily, she was a cool chick. We're we gonna, gonna take her with us. Did you, know you bring this down here? Uh, I didn't bring that down there. Uh, yes, you did. Tell me you did. <laughs> I didn't bring this room down here. I'm serious. Uh, Jim, look out! Uh, look out! Uh, I'm looking some spoons! Hold on, Jim! Fight them all! Are you okay? Chris, quick, Chris, untie me quick. We'll be back any second. All right. God, jeez, thank God, Chris. He almost had that spoon in my ear. That's it, Jim. Guns are no good against this thing. We need silverware. Come on! What, what are all these instruments here? You, you've got me perplexed. Okay, what we gotta do, we gotta find the exact right instrument that's gonna kill this beast, this monster, this... I don't know. Whatever it is, we gotta get it. We gotta get it fast. Okay, now we found out this is the size device which it likes to use. It looks just like a spoon. Uh, so I figure, with all the instruments we have, this is used for debraining. If you get close enough to the skull, the cranium, you can use it. It's not good for long range, but it is good for deboning. <laughs> now, I like this, but I don't this. think this monster has much of a brain, or it just wouldn't be so brutal. You're right. Get rid of it. So I'll, ho I'll hold on to it. It could be a nasty little machine to use in the hand to hand. This is the pummel. I'm going to hold on to this. Not the pummel, in case I need it. Now, after all the studies I've gone through, this metal has a certain alloy that we can use to kill the monster. That is what I want you to use. We'll have to set up a trap, and I'm going to faint this. This just might be it. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. Now, we're going to set up a trap, and this is how it's going to work. Alright now, Jim, we don't have much time. All reports we have say he's coming this way. Pull out the netting. Okay, I'll put out the netting. Netting out. Kind of like one of our hunting trips, huh? Yeah, yeah, I remember, you know, the time we were in Maine and the big moose. I mean, we really, you know, we were hunting with moose and we used the, uh, the pummeler. The old pummeler <laughs> to get the moose. Yeah. That was a heck of a trip. I, I gotta tell you. Those were that was fun. Remember, remember, how, remember the beer we had that day? Remember how the moose used to come after us? And, you know, we were running for, for two weeks. And, like, we were getting really thirsty after a couple of weeks. So we had a few beers. And then right. we finally thought of the pummel, which right. went back in the car. Okay. Jim, I got Jim, you got to get this set up, okay? 
probably near the center. But then the moose. Remember how he, he was like, Jim, why don't you forget, forget the, the moose? moose? For a moment. Now, but he was a nice, he was I, a nice moose though, really. I, you know, I, I have nightmares. Oh, right, Jim. I have nightmares about Jim. past things. Jim, and, uh, I, I forgot. I think, the, think the moose thing. Uh, Jim, you're going to killed. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Listen, I forgot the voltage regulator. I gotta set it up. You know, back in the van, it's right underneath the dashboard. Why do I always have to get the voltage regulator? Jim, it's always Jim, get the voltage regulator. Jim, get the voltage regulator. Every time. Jim, I, you want me to use the pummeler on you? Uh, I saw what you did to that moose. It wasn't very pretty. I'll go, I'll go. Alright. Alright, man. Hey, Grab me that beer over there, will you? Jim, grab me the beer. Jesus Christ! Oh, nice monster. Maybe? Maybe you want to know the phone? Help! Jim! Yeah! Jim! 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 Oh, Jim! And that moose, you know, that moose story was just so great. Chris! Chris! Oh no! He got Chris! I'm gonna get that monster. I'm gonna get him good. I want vengeance! Use the brainer, Jim. Use the brainer. You, you're so bedraggled. What's the matter? I had this nightmare about this guy being chased by a monster and this chick and dark what? basements. Jim, Jim, Jim. It was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. I, I don't know what to tell you, Jim. You know, the only thing I can say, Jim, is that there's one thing that'll make waking up and your nightmare a lot easier. It's if you have some. Ice cream. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy, Happy trails! <laughs> It's in the can. <laughs>